Hi guys, it's me Andrea. I'm going on here with my April daily art and today I will play a bit with my jelly plate. I showed you here the gel sanitizer or hand sanitizer. Um, I saw this technique um, at Joggles uh, a few months ago, last year at some stage. And I really like that. And uh, our discounter Aldi had this uh, hand sanitizers for, yeah, nothing, next to nothing. So I bought a few bottles. When I saw that offer, I, I was re yeah reminded of this technique. So um, you put a good uh, layer of this sanitizer down and then put your uh, alcohol inks, drop it in. And Joggle used the Upo, but I want, didn't want to have the Upo because I will wa work uh, on it uh, with my daily art. I wanted to have a bit of more sturdiness. So, and that was the first print that looks already quite nice. You have to press it. It depends on when you want to squeeze it and, and, and scrush it around. That would be okay, but I only pressed it in lightly. And there's still sanitizer on the plate, and I go on put in um, keep going put in ink on top and now I take everything off and I let all the residue dry completely and then I put this um, layer of fluid acrylics from Golden on this um, Titan buff and I press my watercolor paper into it I leave it on there for quite a while to make sure that everything's soaked up and you will get a really nice impression. I really like that. I do that always to clean my jelly plate. You know, when I work with it, when everything's dry on top, you put a light paint. You can use white acrylic paint. It doesn't matter what you put. It needs to be lighter. And that is a carrier, you know, to pick everything up from your jelly plate. Uh, you can see the jelly plate is clean. And it's all on, on, on the paper here. And you can see I've done that twice. And I um, show you here all my things I've um, done so far. And I like this ones with a Titan buff on top. But the other ones are fantastic as well. And I will use the middle one on top for my work today. And uh, day two today. And the theme is tropical. And to me, tropical is, yeah, that's the sea, that's an island, that's palms. So that's why I draw down here with a pencil my little island and the palms. I uh, give it a little frame here, erase everything. And for the lines, I used my pit pen in F. It's fine, yeah. and now I start to colorize it. Um, I use my Dervant Intense pencil for that. In different um, brown tones here, I start with a 10 and then go on in darker and darker. And I, uh, what I do is I dry it in between. I dry every layer and then go on. I didn't, I didn't want to have this blending going on. A bit of brown here on that. Um, island and I will go on on the leaves here in, in different shades of green but I what I won't do is define the leaves it's too much detail work I didn't want to go that much into details try to do that more with my my um, shade in here with the different shades and uh, dry it as well in between to get uh, yeah nice transition and that's it so this is my stabilo my woodies oh I love my woodies and I scribble it here on my craft mat and that's what I use for shading it was a bit out of camera but realized it soon enough and uh, what I do I pick up here from the craft mat that I, I think I can control that better. I didn't want to have a huge amount on the on my pl uh, paper. So in this way, you can control that much, much better.
and all the, um, all the shading I do is here with the blue stubby little woody and that's it I'm not doing any more because I really like the background and I don't want to overdo it more than enough okay so that's it the only thing I do is I write my word down and I will do it outside of the yeah painting if you say so and it says summer dream and now you will see the close up coming that's it I hope you like it I really love this this effect with with the jelly plate absolutely fantastic and um, yeah that's it if you like it please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have time enough I really like to read them and I really Thank you a lot for watching, guys, and I hope I will see you tomorrow again. Bye-bye.